creamy, rich, and luscious, all things that describe flavors of the Middle East. I'm on my way to meet Halid, owner of Ali Mesa, a Middle Eastern inspired food truck here in Portland. And I'm going to hear his story and feast on all the amazing vegan dishes he has to offer. Portland, Oregon is one of the top vegan cities in the US and the food has never been so diverse. I'm Eunice from Rated V and I've teamed up with Country Life Natural Foods to learn how seven amazing foodpreneurs in Portland, Oregon have transformed simple vegan ingredients into amazing dishes. Let's go. Hi. Hey. Hi, Halid. How are you? How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to see you. I'm super excited. Yeah. As always, anything that involves food excites me. All right. Ready for some leather? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, Halid, tell me, why did you start this business and why vegan food? I love food and one of my favorite things growing up as a kid was going to restaurants. I love that. That also was going into the kitchen as well, experimenting, but the family didn't really like that because I'm messy. <laughs> but when I uh, moved to the US for college is when I had the kitchen yeah. to myself, do whatever I want. Full creative yeah. outlet. Also missing the flavors of home. Right. And oh, I bet. trying to recreate them was also a motivating force. Right. Yeah, I just started experimenting more, cooking more, and then inviting friends from the region who missed the, the yeah. food as well. It just became a thing I did. Yeah. Like I, I cook for people and they like the food and that kind of feedback is something I really enjoyed. Yeah. When I moved back to the States, just going out with friends to Middle Eastern restaurants, just ended up being disappointed, especially sometimes when it's appropriated, where people who don't know much about the culture, the context of the flavors, don't present it well. Right, because it's interpreted through like a different lens. Exactly, so. exactly. After years of complaining, <laughs> I decided to just do it yeah. and on a bigger scale than just my friends. Here I am, Ali Meza, serving yeah. Meza from the Middle East and North Africa, telling the stories of the dishes and the people who make them. And that just brings me a lot of joy. Seeing people enjoy them right. uh, is also very rewarding. Oh my gosh, I love that. So I know you're from Kuwait and I know Kuwait is like a mesh of just a bunch of different cultures. So you translate that in your food. Yes. The, so the there's a lot of immigration into Kuwait from different parts of the Middle East and all those cuisines are represented. I grew up with them. Yeah. My family lived in Egypt, so we cook a lot of Egyptian food at home. And there's a, a huge Palestinian refugee population yeah. as well that brought a lot of Palestinian foods into Kuwait. So that is also something I grew up with right. and try to represent. Oh, I love that. I love that this is a place where you can try all of those places because it's not very common in the Pacific Northwest to try Palestinian food, you know? People always, you know, hear of different Middle Eastern regions, but stuff like that is something that I think is really cool about your food cart. And also, I know in Middle Eastern regions, vegan food is normal everyday food. Uh, exactly. We eat a lot of beans, grains, vegetables, seasonality for sure. Hummus is always there. Yes. And we do so much with the humble chickpea. Yes. For the most part, these are traditionally vegan foods. Are you vegan yourself? Yeah. Tell me about that journey. Like when did you become vegan? Why? So about seven years ago, yeah. I became fully vegan. Before th then, I was a vegetarian on, on mm -hmm. and off. Right, like most of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just seven years ago is when I just really thought about it and sat down with the yeah. feelings and idea of the harm that we cause animals yeah. and, and our planet. And I just couldn't ignore it anymore. Mm. Right, because like once you know a certain amount of information, it's so hard to just push it back in the back of your mind and ignore it. Because you're like, oh, I have to do something about this. That's what happened to me too, so. Thankfully, I have a tradition of vegan dishes yeah. that I draw from. And also some challenges yeah. to veganize some foods. Yeah. That's always fun too. Yeah. But I like how you're including like stuff like you said, lemne, because you sometimes you go to Middle Eastern restaurants and sometimes a lot of these dishes, let's say, are served with yogurt. I know lemne is cheese, but like, 
They'll be like, yeah, we can veganize it, but we'll take off the yogurt. And you're like, you kind of need it there. It's exactly. a huge element. Exactly. So I like that you include these elements so you don't feel like you're cheated out of the full experience. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Yes. Oh Middle God. Eastern style, Arab way. Making oh, some bread. Thank you so much. Oh, and it's so warm and it looks so fluffy. All right. Oh my gosh. And just dig in. Dig in. What do you want me to take, try first? Uh, I'm gonna try the hummus first. I, it's my favorite. Okay. So, okay. Please. Let's do the favorite. The classic. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Yeah. So I always joke around to people that I'm a hummus sapien because I love hummus. It's like one of my favorite foods. <laughs> this is so good and it's garlicky and it's yummy and it's because I know you mentioned you do it your special way, so it's my favorite food. Yeah. Ever. I eat it every day. Even though I'm making it every day in yeah. the cup. I still eat it. I love that. It's so worth it. Okay. I'm going to try the Muhammad next because that's Please. one of my favorites. For those of you who don't know, Muhammad is a red pepper, pomegranate and paste walnut. and walnut. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh. It's underrated. You don't see that a lot of places. Uh, no, you don't find it uh, in many places, uh, especially in the West. It's like a perfect balance of savor and sweet. It is on the sweeter side. And that might be why I like it too, but it's like this nutty sweet. It's just so good, oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. This is a great food marathon. I love this. Okay, Lebne. Because vegans often do not get to have this because it's dairy. It's just... Yeah. It's like a soft cheese or it's the yogurt? No, it's the soft cheese, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I make it from tofu. Ah, it does. It straight up looks like cheese. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. mm, so good. You would not know that is tofu. That is absolutely amazing. That's so good. Okay, I want to try the Palestinian musaba. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It's so good. So distinct. They're to totally different. Yeah, even, even though the both have chickpeas and tahini. Yeah, they're so different. Yeah. And it, it's worth, it's appreciating. You have to appreciate it in its own way. I love it. They're so good. It's like more hearty and this is uh -huh. uh, yeah. And, and lemony. And yeah. The parsley gives it freshness. Yes, and of course the olive oil. Oh, you gotta have olive oil and everything. Okay, the mutabel, which I like how you explain that mutabel is often disguised as baba ganoush, mm -hmm. but that really is dependent on the method you make it. Yeah, yeah whether there's tahini or not. So, yeah. so if there's tahini and it's a smooth paste, yeah. it's mutabel. But if it's if you want to make baba ganoush, it's just the smoky eggplant, yeah. maybe a little bit of lemon, yeah. garlic, and that's it. That's uh, it. Yeah. Fujication, people. Fujication. <laughs> Okay, and you added some pomegranate molasses as well. Yeah, I, mm. uh, it's a, a, a traditional mix, and uh, the sweetness complements the smokiness. Uh, it's really a beautiful uh, flavor. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't think I've ever really had it with the pomegranate molasses. I, I think it's the it way It takes to it to the next level, yeah. and it's the perfect amount of smokiness. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so let me try this. Guys, I'm gonna be here for a while because I am just enjoying everything. Mm. If a guy ever wants to impress me on a date, this is the kind of food he used to take me on. This is a little message to all you guys out there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, za'atar and olive oil, again, it's just like a side condiment that's kind of served everywhere. I love it. Uh, it's yeah, one of we, my favorite things to eat. We have it on on bread, sometimes uh, in pastries, uh, like uh, mena'i, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, maybe sprinkled a little bit yeah. on salad, like fatouche. 
I want to try one of the spicy, what was this called? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Zahawi. Zahawi. Yeah, and um, it, uh, every Middle Eastern country has a, a, a chili paste, but this is like the Yemeni uh, style. Yes. And oh my gosh, so good. Yeah. Okay, if you love spice, you will love that. I love spicy. And it's amazing. It goes really well with the hummus. Okay, I'm going to try one of this. In, in other countries, it might be called uh, dugga or dugga because the method of making uh, the chili paste, pounding it. And you're so right, take it to the next level. Yeah, it's, amazing. it's a great combination. So what is it that you would want customers to experience when they eat your food? Not to sound cheesy, but joy. Like really enjoying the food, the flavors, and uh, learning about how it's made traditionally, yeah. who who the people that, that make the food. The country behind it. Yeah, and if there's a story behind the yes. dish, I like to explain these things. And overall, I want people to have a good time. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. Well, thank you so much. I'm gonna just keep enjoying this. Oh, and to finish off, I'm gonna try this hibiscus juice, so. So good. Totally worth it. You guys, if you're ever in Portland and you love Middle Eastern food, there's only one place you need to go. Just saying. So as you can see, Ali Mesa has a plethora of vegan dishes where many of them, the base was simple natural ingredients like chickpeas. So if you want to check out some vegan recipes for yourself, you can hop over to countrylifefoods.recipes and try them out at home. Catch you next time on Ready V.